everybody, this is Lo-Fi from Internet Money coming at you with another quick tutorial. I just wanted to uh, touch on something that uh, a lot of people have been asking about in the comments and on YouTube and Twitter and things like that. And of course, I put out a poll on Twitter and this got the most votes. So this is the first one I'm going to do, which will be counter melodies. Now, I was making this beat. If you've uh, been following me on Instagram, you've probably heard a portion of this beat already. Uh, so it might seem a little familiar to you. If not, then oh well. Uh, I decided to use this beat because there's a lot of, I guess you say there's a lot of counter melodies being used here, there's probably three or four. So I think, oh, this is a perfect thing to do for a counter melody video. Uh, without further ado, I'll just go ahead and play this a little bit. Okay, so by this point, you already hear that there's two melodies going on. You have the main melody, and then you have this second melody that comes in as well, or a counter rather. And this is the entire concept of a counter melody is something to support the main melody. Even though it's not playing the same notes, it should be in the back or subdued, subtle, whatever, to support the main melody. Something to add extra bounce to fill up the space in the beat. Also just to give a different groove, um, an undertone, if you will. So I have these two melodies going at the same time. And by the way, uh, this is nothing but two uh, automations. I have a volume automation here in the green. I'm not gonna get too far in depth with this. Volume automation in the green uh, combined with a reverb animation uh, to give the piano this effect. Where it sounds very broken. Um, continue on with the beat. So here it's another piano. Uh, even though it's still a piano and this uh, these bells continue to go on in the left and the right ear, if you have headphones on, you can really hear it. Uh, the pianos actually change. So there's two different piano melodies that have already been introduced by under 15 seconds of the beat, right? So this is like, this is the third melody. Well, I, I guess you don't really count this as a melody, so it's whatever. Bring back in the first one. So by this point, all three are going uh, at the same time. Uh, I don't know if you really want to count this as a melody, whatever. It's just a supporting sound. now we have another melody that's come in and let me just go ahead and iso these out for you so you can uh sorry for basketball terminology let me just solo these <laughs> and um that way i can show you guys better what they sound like alone right so it's a simple eight note pattern nothing special and then we combined it with this Now, a lot of people seem to be confused on how you combine counter melodies. They think that as long as I make two melodies and I put them together, it's good. But that's not it. The whole key to making counter melodies work, and you can do unlimited counter melodies, as you see in this beat, I have like three or four. Um, the key to it is just making sure everything's in the same scale. So let's go ahead and break this down. So we have eight notes, right? Uh, let's just count them out. We got F sharp, F sharp, D, C sharp, B, F sharp, C sharp, D. So all in all, the only different notes we've hit is F sharp, D, C sharp, B. That's four notes to make the main melody, right? And then we go over here. And the reason these work is because it's B and then F sharp. So it's the same exact uh, notes that we had. Remember we had F sharp, D, C sharp, and B um, in the first pattern. So now we have the B and the F sharp are reappearing here for the second pattern. So as long as you stay in key or on in the same scale um, with your melody, you can make unlimited counter melodies. That's why uh, even like, let's say this, I have a set pattern for the bass going through the whole beat right now, right? I could take this and reorganize it. I could switch these notes around in any order 
I can literally just do random as long as I keep using these same notes and it will go with the beat still. And that's because I stayed in the same key. So the beat is all in one key. That's how you, uh, that's how you maintain a good counter melody. Just keep it in key. Everything else will fall in place after that. I promise. So we have two melodies described. Let's go look at this, uh, second piano melody. So now this is B F sharp G. So that's the first time the G appears and then F sharp and it loops. And the reason the G is okay, even though it wasn't mentioned before, is it's because it's still in that scale. So what do we have? Uh, B. There's your scale. Right there. That was from, from B to B. That's all the notes I need. As long as I stay with those. I know you've seen that in Kim's video too, where he does the chords to uh, find all the notes in the scale. This is the same thing. As long as you stay in that scale, I promise you it'll work together. So all together. Right? Actually looking at this, there's another melody that comes in, but it's like an accent also uh, in the chorus. So in the chorus, it's like this. So that's just a regular Lotus Flute from Omnisphere. Uh, if you have Omnisphere 2, I believe it comes with it. So all you got to do is search for Lotus and you can get that flute. Same one from uh, Migos, Get Right With You, I think. It's probably been using, it's been using countless beats now. Uh, but if you look, the melody does not start on the one count. It starts on the three, I guess you would say. And I like that because it just adds a little bit to the bounce. But look at what it is. It's a counter melody, yes, but it's still playing the same notes we've been talking about this whole time. And this is literally just going up in scale, then down in scale. So B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, the same things over and over and over. And I guess a good way to demonstrate this, you know what? Let's do this. Um, hit F4 to go to the uh, soonest, 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 earliest, whatever, the closest empty pattern. So 17 is the one for that. Let's go back to, I believe we were on 12. For the main, yep. So let's copy this. And we're going to throw it in 17, right? I'm going to stack all of the melodies in this beat in this one pattern just to show you how cohesive they all are. So we have the main melody. Let's go back, uh, I guess, uh, this one. The one with the bells. Let's take these. Throw them in 17. We're going to put these all as a piano. We're not going to use the different instruments. Right? So it looks good. What else? Where's the other melody at? Here we go. The second piano melody. Go back to 17. Not 16. 17. Okay. Drink some tea. All right. And we're going to pick up this fourth melody up here again it's playing the same notes B F sharp D F sharp if you're hearing a difference though uh, if, if something tricked your ear just now it's because they're not exactly the same they're, um, in the second half all of these notes exist I just added I think three extra notes to turn these into like not really chords but just little groups pairings or whatever so here here and here I believe it is So that's it. I just did that just for, um, just to have a little bit of a switch up something just for differentials sake, whatever. My English is terrible right now. Anyways, uh, copy that, go back to 17. Oh, this is going to be too long. I can see that coming already. Uh, we'll just cut off the second half. That's fine. But if you notice they're all together right now, I haven't pushed play yet, but I know for a fact they're all going to go together because I stayed in scale. I stayed in key. So what do we have here? Four different, oh, there's five. So I actually have five different patterns going for melody at the same time. And we're gonna put them all on the same instrument. So if I messed up, it's gonna clash. So if you guys wanna test and see if your melodies go together or they're cohesive, you can do the same thing. Stack them all on one instrument and see. Now when I press play, I'm willing to bet that this just sounds like a very complex MIDI. So let's find out. It's 
Sounds like some Sebastian Bach, Ludwig, Beethoven, Beethoven kind of thing. So yeah, um, it all goes together though. It's all on scale. So all I gotta do. Exactly. So all five melodies playing at the exact same time still sound good. And they're on the same exact instrument too. And of course that's not what we're gonna do. Don't don't just have a complex MIDI like that sitting on one instrument. Break it down like this. So all together, when all five are playing at the same time is at the very end of the chorus. And that's how you get your counter melodies to work in harmony with each other. So hopefully you guys can see this, have a visual representation, and it makes it easier to understand. So if there's any one thing you need to take away from this, it's stay in key. You can do any damn thing you wanna do as long as you stay in key. Keep that same scale throughout your beat and you can literally do anything. It doesn't matter what notes you pair together, as long as they're in scale, it'll work out. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Uh, once again, my name is Lofi. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Take care.